you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be a day in the life of a mom we just got to the gym a new life update is that i signed up for the gym with my friend kylie that you saw me pie in the face in my last video so we signed up for the gym about a week ago we have gone every day and even one of the days we went twice in one day um so we've gone every day this week except tomorrow we are not going because pat has his little annual golf tournament with for his work and we still only have one car so yeah my tesla is still missing but we're gonna go inside the gym the kids are gonna go inside the daycare center in there and then we are actually gonna go to old navy after that to get the kids some new shoes and clothes for the new school year so they start summer school on monday so i just wanted to make sure they had some new cute looking things and especially emma she has some pretty old sandals so I wanted to make sure she got some new samples. All right, you guys, we did our workout. I kidnapped this one and threw my car to come to Old Navy with us and get some lunch. You guys ready? I'm gonna get yeah. the kids some new clothes. So once I get home, I will show you guys a little toddler clothing haul and then I need to do some cleaning motivation. So let's go. Okay, shop. hi you guys. I'm finally home. We went to Old Navy. We went to Chick-fil-A and brought it home to eat here. And now I'm gonna show you everything that I got for the kids for Old Navy. So. I didn't get anything for myself, of course, but they were just not having it in Old Navy, so I was just like, let's get some things and let's get out, which is what we did. So, starting with Landon, I thought this was the cutest little shirt, Stay Palm, and I love the colors, and he has some really cute orange shorts that would go good with this. So I got that. Uh, this is also for Landon, just a pair of comfy gray shorts. And then to go with those gray shorts, I found this shirt that says super fresh with some um, pineapples on it. So just so you guys can get a little, well, not that I'm that great at holding it up, but just so you can get a little idea of what it looks like. There you go. So we got that. And then he got, I thought these shorts were really cute too. I'm loving these like longer comfy shorts, the Josh draw drawstring the drawstring is working and all good so they don't fall down and sag so and they were six bucks not to mention you so i definitely tried to look at more of the deals at old navy because old navy can be really expensive i started looking for workout clothes since i am going to the gym more but if i'm going to spend a 40 dollars on a pair of leggings like i'm going to go get some kick-ass ones that i love so yeah these shorts were six dollars this shirt says 12, but it was actually seven. They had a deal on it for seven and same with the other shirt. And then he got one more thing. He got this shirt. I wasn't, I don't think I'm going to put it with these shorts, even though it matches because I feel like that's a lot of tie dye in one outfit. I was going to buy, I'm pretty sure I did buy, I did buy. Um, I thought this was cute. So I just got a plain white tee to go with these shorts. And then I figured this shirt could just go with maybe even these gray shorts that I showed earlier. So cute. That is honestly it for Landon. So he may have got a little gypped. He is the one that needs more clothes, but I just feel like girls clothes are just so hard to pass by. So. Emma got these $5 biker short shorts. Wow, I'm doing great today. I hope you are enjoying this. Um, all these little t-shirts were $5 with the little tie, so I got her a couple of those. Here's the other one. Same thing, $5. And then with that shirt, I has, saw matching shorts that were $7, like Landon. So a lot of everything that I got was five, six, seven dollars. Um, except for these dresses, they were eight dollars. So five to eight dollars is everything that I got. Um, so yeah, then I got this little dress. I'm just like really into the tie dye. I'm thinking, I got a lot of tie dye today. And then I thought this little watermelon dress was cute. Again, eight dollars. So with all this, I spent I think it was eighty-five dollars. So not bad, um, they have, now have a couple new outfits for summer school, they start on Monday, and then just for the rest of the school year, so 
that is that. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what my big project is because I'm so excited to get started on it. I'm just waiting for one more thing. Okay, so my little project is going to be this room and don't worry, I'm going to make a whole video on transforming this whole thing, but this is the before. I obviously will show the before in the other video, but this is what it is right now. That TV doesn't even work. It needs to get out of here. I'm gonna sell that headboard and push this bed up against the wall. We need to clean all that out. Pets clubs aren't allowed to be in here anymore. I already told him that, but I'm going to be making this my office. So. When the bed is turned sideways, I'm going to put the desk here, along with the bookshelf right next to it. Here is the bookshelf. And someone in our neighborhood actually gave this to me for free. So it worked out so good. And then I went to at home and found all the cute little, you know, girly decor pieces that a girl has to have, you know? Um, what else over here? I got these from Walmart. So of course just my own pens that no one else touches. This cute little weekly planner. This whiteboard with the cute colors. And then two more signs. Do awesome things and work hard and stay humble. And these were both $9.99 from at home. So, And then this black isn't going to be on here but this room is essentially going to be like a white and pink room so this pillow is going to go on the bed i got two of them don't know where the other one is right now but yeah that's that so i'm just waiting on my office chair so that i can just do everything and get everything put together all at once but this is the before i cannot wait to show you guys what the after looks like i mean i can't even wait to see what the after looks like because I'm just so excited to have my own little space. I plan to do more voiceovers for you guys and like my cleaning videos and everything. I don't do them now because my office is the desk in the kitchen. So it, it's never quiet between the cat and the two kids. Like it's just never quiet. So if I have done a voiceover, I've gone and hid in my closet and done it that way. And it's usually like a real quick one. So that's the story behind that. I'm just excited to have my own office. I'm working now. I'm doing more sponsorships and just YouTube stuff and just a mom cave. We, we hear all the time man caves. What about the mom caves? I'm making a mom cave. So I'm excited. Just waiting on that office chair. I've repeated myself like a million trillion times, but this is the real me. So you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Just kidding. That was really immature. Okay. Now, I need to do some cleaning because exhibit A, which you guys are so used to seeing that dirty. And then, you guys, Pat told me he was gonna do the laundry like a week, two weeks ago. This is all clean. He literally just poured it out and he has been digging through here. Men, like, why no it that that's not clean like so um that being said let's do some laundry motivation okay let's get started <laughs> i 
much of emotions Sometimes I'm the lightning Don't wanna pick a fight with Everything seems so good I guess I can't help myself I felt like that took forever. I don't know how I got so behind, but that is a perfect example that we are not perfect. We are never on top of everything all the time and we are all human. So I just wanted to show you guys these shorts that I got from Target the other day. These are the Wild Fable brand and they were $15. I have these same ones in a blue pair if you see me or if you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, you see me wear them a lot over there. But I'm wearing a size 6 and they fit really well. Hide my mom pooch, suck everything in. And then even when you bend over, you're not going to show any booty because it's a little longer in the back. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just complained about how much laundry that I just did. And, well, I just bought the kids new clothes and me a new pair of shorts. So... I just keep adding to the problem. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Who can else relate? I just love to buy clothes. Especially for the kids. Anyways, I need to go get the kids up from nap, so let's go do that. So Emma is doing quiet time, and I told her she had to clean her room because she's gotten pretty bad about just throwing a lot of the things on the floor. She used to be really good. Landon is really, really good about having his room clean. Like, he is OCD. Like, we'll not go to bed unless his room is clean. Where Emma just... She's kind of just at the stage where she doesn't take very good care of her stuff. And it's just kind of everywhere. But I am making her clean her room and make sure that everything is off the floor and everything because another fun life update that we have is we are breeding our cat Sky. So our next door neighbor has a ragdoll cat which is absolutely gorgeous and then Sky's coloring is absolutely gorgeous. She's a calico. I will put a picture right here of what their babies would look like and I'm just a freak like that and I'm just so excited to like see the whole birthing process and having like a pregnant cat and taking care of her like I'm just so weird. A friend of ours has a goat that just had babies and I was just so into watching like her laboring and just watching an animal have babies. Is that weird? Maybe. I don't know but I'm really excited to just take on that whole new journey and see where it goes. So I told Emma that when Skye gets pregnant and she gets close to having babies, she's most likely going to go somewhere that is dark with probably a lot of clothes on the floor or towels so she can make sure that her babies are nice and comfy and she's comfortable and you guys know where I'm going. So making sure that she has everything off the floor so that if her room were to be the room that Skye chose, her and the babies are safe and comfortable in here. So yeah, and Emma just had another hamper of clean clothes of theirs. 
because Pat hid it in the closet or hid it in the hallway and told me he did the laundry. My husband is like a teenager. He hid the laundry and told me he did it. You stayed in your bed the whole time? So, if you guys are ever wondering why he always is like, spank butt, land and stay in bed, it's because we have a nest camera in here, and I watch him, and he loves to sit right here, which you guys all know, and like watch the cars go by and everything. So it says, what does the camera say? It says, land it, I'll go spank your butt if you don't get in that bed. Yeah. So he like, he has like stuck onto that. Um, and what's funny is I've only had to spank him like maybe two times in his whole life. So I think he just like doesn't want it. So he just stays in his bed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause you're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she watches you. Mm -hmm. I really don't think he understands that it's my voice. Yeah. Um, mommy's gotta do your clothes. You want a snack? You want some blueberries? Or some carrots and ranch? Mommy, no, No carrots? It's too ew? Would you like some blueberries? Okay. Yeah. More clean up. More clean up. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays. So this is the front of our house. Wow, that's really great. So on Thursdays, our landscapers come. So that's why he says clean up. Because they were mowing the lawn and everything. And he likes to sit here and watch them. I want clean up. Yeah. They're all done. No. Did they not do a good enough job? Mm -hmm. They didn't? Mm -hmm. Are you going to fire them? Mm -hmm. Say, you're fired. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that went that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go get a snack? Mm -hmm. You want blueberries? Mm -hmm. Let's go get them. Mom? You can jump. Jeez Louise. <laughs> One more time. Hey. Don't do it when mommy and daddy are in here, though, okay? Hey. That's dangerous. Mm. Okay, one more time. Let's go. Mommy's got stuff to do. Mommy. I gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean right now. Gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean. clean. Go up. Hi. Blueberries. Mm. Emma, you don't want one of these lemonades? No. Mommy. All right, you guys, well, I am all done with all my house chores for the day. I just reorganized Emma's whole dresser and threw away a bunch of clothes that don't fit her anymore. So, slowly trying to clean things out and just reorganize feels so good. So, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.